at the weekend you are sense of under unfortunate circumstances we should say what what are your feelings about about that yeah I'm obviously disappointed I mean yeah you know, human error led to me um getting suspended for sort of 35 minutes I'm never going to get that 35 minutes back but um yeah my hand was in the guy's face it was not no foul play intended in the whole thing and uh, the toucher just got the call completely wrong and then uh, they jumped a red card with it so yeah, I was just at the wrong end of it, but hey, 35 minutes and the, the boys have left on the field, you know, tested their character even more, and uh, I thought they, they did really well. It was obviously disappointing, but um, yeah, it's done, it's done. So you've got to dust yourself up and just keep going. Leicester, to their credit, have, um, have helped helped out uh, in yeah. sending the, the card. Is that, is that a big help and a big sort of you know, relief to yourself? Yeah, it is. It's nice to know that, you know, geez. and I mean, they've, they've sort of real rugby men at the club, so they understood from the start what it was all about and they completely from the beginning were on my side so uh, they've been very very good in the support so yeah all credit to them as well so both parties have, have agreed that there was no intent or foul play intended so to your career at Saracens um, you've, been, you've been held in very high regard uh, with our fans you, you always smile you always enjoy <laughs> your, your, your time here um, what, what's your standout memory uh, of Saracens oh goodness me standout memory <laughs> there are there are too many to recount. I think the whole journey has been a, just one big happy memory for myself and my family. Um, coming here, uh, not knowing what to expect, and you know, training still in the old Hatfield Centre, and then being part of the whole team, sort of with the whole revolution with Brendan and Edward and all the chaps that came in. And so it's been a fantastic journey. Uh, we, my family and I will always look back upon this time, this last sort of five and a half, six years, with the fondest of memories. Um, yeah, I count myself very, very fortunate to be part of this quite a unique situation and a unique time for the club. And um, it will keep going on to many, many great places and many, many great things will happen with this club. But the sort of pioneering early days, no one can ever take that away from me. And to be part of that is quite special. The characters and the coaches and the people that were involved and that have been involved in creating what this club is all about. And to be part of that is, I count myself very fortunate and it's been quite humbling in, in that regard. So, so when, when you first started out in, in Cape Town, would, did you ever think that, you know, maybe one day I'd end up in Limerick or, or London, you know, playing for, for see, such a massive, two massive clubs, Munster and, and Saracens and Super Western Province? No, no, not at all. I mean, uh, from early days just playing for the Western Province or just getting onto New Orleans was a, was a real treat, you know, and that's why I look back and on the career that I've had and I keep pinching myself is every day I count myself very lucky to be a rugby player and to be involved with the caliber of clubs that I have been and the kind of people that I've been around and I've played, managed to play with and play against, I count myself very fortunate in that. So, yes, I, I look back and I'll, I've, I've no regrets in my career and I'm very, very lucky for my family and I. It's been a, a fantastic journey so far. So, so what, what first attracted you to Saracens? I was just off chance, actually. Eddie Jones, or the agent, contacted me. I was, uh, I'd been released from Munster to go back to South Africa and um, Michael Owen, the eighth man, then got injured. So they needed a loose forward to stand in at the time. So um, <clears throat> in the early days of the club, Eddie Jones signed me up and there was about a four or five month period. And at the time that I was signing, Brendan made contact with me as well and said, listen, in a couple of months I'll be coming and this is the plans. And um, yeah, so I got in sort of the sort of old way the club was and and then obviously the whole revolution of sort of the, the, the change happened and. Yeah, so since then I've just been on this sort of train. <laughs> you, you were struck by a quite, quite a bad injury. Um, what, what was it like overcoming that? It must be must have been quite a difficult period. Yeah, it, it's, it was tough. Uh, it's my first time in my career that I'd had a, a serious injury. I had many niggling injuries, you know, a couple of weeks here there, but first proper major operation, knee construction, and um, sort of out for a couple of eight months or so. It took a year to get fully fit. So it was a tough time, but, you know, she's all credit to the... The, the doctors and the staff here at Saris have really, this knee is now much stronger than the other knee. So I've come back stronger from it, but yeah, it's sort of a, a tough time, but you sort of have to go through these things, I think, in sports. It sort of shapes you mentally, you know, you have to overcome these things and you train even harder in the time that you are injured. Um, and obviously, yeah, it, it's tough, but in an environment that you are still very involved, even if you're injured and not playing week in, week out, you still feel that you are adding value in some sort of sort. So, you know, depending on how hard you push on the white bike, you feel like you're adding to the ethos of the club in that form. So even in the time that I wasn't playing, I still felt that um, 
through my work, you're still adding some sort of benefit to this whole environment. As you can see, like I said before, you, you look like a man who always enjoys his time here. Is, is that the case? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I still can't believe it. They pay you, this is your job. It's, it's, very, it's a good environment to come and work. And um, yeah, I've been very, <clears throat> very fortunate. So uh, this has been lucky and I look forward to the next challenges. And uh, I'll always take what I've learned in this time at this club and the values and the things that, that I've learned so how to deal with people. I think that's been massive lessons and the transferable skills that I've picked up more well, the work that Dave and um, Jones has put in now with the PDP. I find these sort of things have put you in good stead and it's fantastic. I can't wait to adopt that into your family life and life beyond rugby in terms of business. So in that way, you do walk away from a club, you know, a complete person, which is a real credit to the chaps that are involved. And I think that was always the ambitions of the club from the start, you know, to not just create good rugby players, but to create better people. And that definitely is the case. Yeah. They definitely create better humans. That's what it's all about. How, how, have, uh, how have Saracens, like you mentioned with Dave Jones and Dave Priestley, of course, um, helping you with the PDP. How, how have they um, helped you on your next challenge? Obviously, uh, you, you have a farm? Yes, there's a family farm that eventually I'll go to when my old man is, is ready, but that's still quite a way down the pipe. I'm starting a, like a fertilizer distribution business in South Africa and going into Africa, hopefully. And um, Yeah, so there's a few seeding ideas and throwing myself about into various industries. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that challenge as it is, you know. There's a few pending things with rugby that might play the odd game for Germany still in the future, but... Right now, yeah, it looks like it's it's um, setting up life back in Cape Town, settling in the family, and and getting things started in the in the big world outside of this beautiful bubble that we've been in, in the last ten years. And finally, HAC on Thursday, um, it's it's a, it's a it's a very unique occasion. Uh, the HAC playing in the centre of London, yeah. having different different fans come in. Um, is, is it a good send off for, for yourself? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, it was not myself. I think it's a few guys, Mikey, taking that by and a few guys sort of making their last appearances at the club. So, um, a great send off. Yeah, it's always a festive game. It's more of a sort of a sort of a preseason filter. You know, people are going to throw the ball around a bit, a bit of a, a bar bar sort of style rugby. So yeah, it is. It's going to be nice, and it's a nice way to send it off. You know, it's nice to just get involved and and sort of finish things off. Bunch pretty young guys playing and. So yeah, it's nice to be the, the old guy and watch the new guys come in and especially part of the way the guys did play on Saturday, the young guys coming through are, are the club's in a very, very healthy place in terms of the talent that are coming through and the, the current crop of players that we have. So very fortunate in that regard.